got a chance to make your dreams come true You can live the life that's lived by few Wake up, now make it a reality Make it a reality, who you wanna be What's up everyone, happy Friday, happy TGIF I appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Become Better Daily with me, Phil Echo, sharing stories, reflections, ahas, inspiring you to be your best self. June is always a special month for me, especially this week in June, early June. It's my dad's birthday. My wife's birthday is coming up. I have a lot of friends and family who have birthdays around this time. And um, usually in schools, they're helping them close out their year with uh, maybe keynotes and speaking back at my old stomping grounds, Davis Drive, presenting the uh, Phil Echoes Becoming Better Award, which I'll talk about in tomorrow's episode. But today I just want to talk a little bit about my experience at Harris Creek Elementary School in Raleigh. And um, Mrs. IU, the fifth grade teacher, asked me to come and um, give some words of wisdom to their fifth grade class that's being promoted to sixth grade. And it was an amazing experience. First of all, this class is amazing, first first and foremost. They informed me, she informed me that they have been watching some of my videos, well, not some of them, just about all of them on a daily basis. And they've really been taking to heart the messages that I've been sharing, which means so much to me. I mean, I can't even begin to describe how um, how much that adds fuel to my my flame and just recharges my battery and keeps me going. Um, so moving on, this class was amazing. First of all, they were multi-talented. They sang, they did a performance, they did monologues around human rights. Um, the children were articulate. It was just a, a beautiful ceremony and I was honored to be a part of it. But w w the icing on the cake for me was my introduction. There's a young lady named um, Kaya, here's her picture. But Kaya actually introduced me and um, there was a, any of the speaking parts in the whole ceremony, um, students had to, there was an audition for students to be able to do it. And so Kaya um, actually had the best speech, the best introduction for me to be able to do it. So I just wanted to share that picture. I promised her I would put that picture in the vlog. She introduced me as a YouTuber, <laughs> which is, I'm still getting used to that, but it's true, I am a YouTuber. And uh, really special, man. The intro to my videos uh, was produced by my cousin and the 10th Music Group. And she actually recited the lyrics to the introduction song, the outro, uh, in her introduction. And it was just really special, man. I, um, I, I appreciate it. So I really just want to share a really quick message around what Mrs. Ayub's charge was to her class. And I want to challenge you all to do the same. So she charged her students with changing the world through positivity and kindness. She said, you don't have to like donate all your clothes to a, a nonprofit organization. You don't have to start a school in Africa. I mean, those things are amazing, but she said, you can change the world with small acts of kindness and doing good where you are. And it re really made me reflect on the fact that we are riding on the ripples and the waves of kindness and positivity of countless People like people we can't even name, people we don't even know, we are living off of and moving forward off of that positivity and energy and kindness that people throughout history have been um, have been displaying. And it is our responsibility to continue those waves, continue making those ripples by doing those small acts of kindness. Huge acts of kindness are okay too, but the real game changers are those small acts of kindness, holding doors for people, saying thank you, um, using manners, just um, stopping when you see someone in need. Um, those acts of kindness can make a huge difference. So I hope this message resonates. I just really appreciate the opportunity I had to speak and pour into those students. And um, it was a, quite an experience for me also. So tomorrow I'm going to talk a little bit about my time at Davis and the Becoming Better Award. So I appreciate you tuning in today. As always, each day is a new opportunity to become better. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. I remember when it all started. Me and my brother trapping off the white and blue and polish. You got the talent, but I got the dream. What you mean? He said you know we got